In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four leaf shape infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added a leaf here with gradient fill and I've added step one here. You can add your title and the detailed text. And if you have the icons, you can add the icon here. And then I've added the shadow effect for this. And then this is the step two, which is showing towards the down. Then the step three with the different color. And this is the step four. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, right mouse click, go to format background and give some light gradient color. You can see here or you can give lesser than that. Then go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to select this one, which is the rectangle corners rounded. Just draw it, maybe this much size. And you can see here two orange points. So this orange point, I'm just going to drag it. So you end up getting this shape. Then shape outline, make it no outline and go to rotate. And I'm just going to flip vertical. You can see here. Then I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D and going to change the background color to white. You can see here and put it here and increase the size. You can see here and then send this to back now this one you can give some gradient fill let me just select this one gradient fill and i'm going to make it only two stops the first stop i'm going to make it some dark color combination maybe uh you can see a purple with maybe pink or some other color you can see here maybe some lighter color so it looks something like this and then I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D and just put it here on top of this and then again send this to back. So you end up getting this one and if you want you can just change the little bit width you can see at the orange point I'm just increasing or decreasing. So you end up getting this shape and if you want more this one I'm just going to duplicate this again. I'm going to give a solid fill with some gray color and I'm going to put it here and then just send back and if you want one more I'm going to just duplicate this and give this color increase the transparency bring it here at the bottom and then send this to back so you can see here like this you can do this one so this looks more darker let me just make it more lighter so it looks something like this now once this is done i can just select this press ctrl g to group it so this is my first one ctrl d and then i'm going to rotate you can see here i can just bring this up something like this flip vertical so this is my second one i can bring it somewhat down then i'm going to select both press ctrl d to duplicate and just add it here then I'm going to select all by holding the shift key and then just put it. So this is the design is ready. Now it's up to you which color you want to change. For example, I want to change some different color combination of blue with light blue color or the sky blue color. You can see here and this also I'm going to do the same thing for my painter. I'm going to click on this and this also I'm going to change the color to some darker color like this you can change the color for the other leaves so you can see here i have changed the colors for the other leaves as well then go to insert text box i'm just going to type one here and center align make the font as white increase the size you can see here if you want you can just make it bold and just put it here press ctrl d so this will be the second this would be the third one and this would be the fourth one so let's change this one this would be two this is three and this is four and if you want you can put the option or the step underneath the number so once this is done you can just go to insert again text box you can add the title you can see here center align i'm going to give some gray color make it bold 
and you can add some detailed text here so again this also will be gray color reduce the size center align and again i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate i'm just going to add it here you can see now if you have the icons if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can just use the icons or you can just go and search on my channel i have provided more than 500 free icons so i'm just going to randomly select five different uh, sorry four icons just click on insert and i'm going to give the height and width as maybe 0.5 only you can see here and color i'm going to make it gray and then i'm just going to put one one icon on top of this you can see here so once this is done uh, one more thing you can give some shadow effect for that i'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to make it black increase the transparency you can see here maybe 50 percent or more than that then go to effects soft adjust increase the size you can see here maybe eight points and then i'm just going to tilt a little bit and then send this to back so you can see here press ctrl d so again i'm just going to copy the same thing here send to back ctrl d now this time i'm just going to rotate it you can see here send this to back just move a little bit ctrl d and then add this form so you can see here our design is ready That's it from me friends, thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff, till then goodbye.